So I love terrible movies and there's a bunch of movies on Rotten Tomatoes that have either a 0% score or a very low score. So I'm curious to see if this score is warranted and these movies truly are this terrible or if they're deserving of a little bit of a higher score. So today I'm going to watch the 1986 film Howard the Duck. I know nothing about this movie. I know it's supposed to be one of like the worst movies ever created, but I think it's one of those like so bad it's good situations, or at least I'm hoping that's what it is. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited to finally watch it. So thank you so much for sharing in this first time watching with me. My only prediction is that a duck will be involved and his name will be Howard. Um, that's all I really know. So I'm looking forward to watching it. Um, if you have any other suggestions for bad movies, please comment below and let me know. And as always, please like, comment, and subscribe to this channel and check back often for more awesome content. I actually, now that I see it, I do remember hearing about George Lucas working on this movie, which I felt like was an odd, an odd situation, but here we go, so. Did he provide, like, special effects or something? I'm just trying, yeah, I, I, I'm very curious to know what his, oh, Leah Thompson is this, um, or some of you might know, uh, Lorraine from Back to the Future, Marty McFly's mom. Tim Robbins? What? What? I didn't realize it had like well or better known actors in this. I was expecting like people I'd never heard of basically. May Nest and W.C. Fowles. Oh, there's gonna be so many puns in this, isn't there? Guaranteed to wipe out feather fungus in even the most. Feather fungus? Are there no humans in this movie? Is it just gonna be ducks acting like humans, wearing humans' clothes, doing human things? Red. I love you. Duck ER. Oh my. It's a Marvel Comics character? Really? I didn't know that. How low are they? I hope they're not too low. Oh my. It's going to be a. Oh my. Play duck. Well then. Quite an aggressive earthquake. Uh, what is going on here? Yes. Uh, ah! What? What? Casey, did you hear something? Ah! Oh my! Oh my! He's getting sucked out of. Seems to be breathing perfectly fine. You know, despite going through several levels of. Atmosphere. Oh, chairs on fire. Where is he going? Is the planet shaped like an egg? He's got blasted into space? What's happening here? Bye. So he gets sucked into this tube into Earth? Where he's the only duck among humans? Oh my. No, that's gonna hurt. In Cleveland, okay. And falls in a chair similar to what he was just in. Okay, okay. What are the chances that as soon as he lands, he meets a street gang? Ah. Oh, so much crimping and back combing into that hair. Oh. Why is the band playing behind the cage? the crowd that intense that's it no more mr. Oh. nice duck okay so he also breaks the fourth wall and says things like no more mr. nice duck <laughs> oh my it's definitely ridiculous I'm not sure how this was a Marvel character I don't imagine they did a reboot nice. maybe I not that I've heard of it's pretty strange uh, Howard. I don't. I'm curious to see where it's gonna go. I don't know how I feel about it just yet. She seems to be like accepting the fact that he's a duck from another planet, like pretty well, you know. Why? Why this? Why is she like gently stroking his feathers? I don't know why that sounded dirty. 
Okay, she's tucking him in. Okay, okay. Oh, his little tuck wallet. Just such bad Photoshop of like clearly regular pictures of people. Blooming ducks. So basically just like a copy of Earth, but for ducks. A duck condom? Can I help you off? Yes. Why are we stopping? Oh, hi, Beverly. <gasps> Young Tim Robbins. No, it's a duck. Phil, you've got to help us. What are we gonna do? He seems very excited about finding a duck that can talk. I mean, yeah, it's it's weird and it's interesting, but I'd be way more excited to find like a unicorn or something. Like it's a duck. You have ducks on Earth. You know what they're like. Who is the target audience for this? Like, is it supposed to be aimed towards kids? There's been a few like dirty references and like adult themes, so I'm not sure who this movie is supposed to be for. In the comics, is it like, did they tone it down for the movie or like, I don't know anything about him in the comics. But yeah, I, I don't know what this, like, I don't even know what this is rated, if it's like PG, if it's R, I guess we'll see as the movie goes on, but I'm just confused as who this is targeted towards. Food, shelter. Who's in this suit? Like, who's the actor or, like, I don't, I don't, yeah, I don't know who's in the suit. Uh, yeah, I'm guessing this wasn't rated PG now. Uh, hot tub fever? Antibiotics? Uh, it's a hot tub brothel? Oh. I mean, hot tubs are basically just like a giant tub of dead skin. It's slack! Duck who can't swim. Okay, okay. Oh no. Oh, bleh, gross. Get out of there. Save yourself. Uh. Lava of love. Because the tubs are so. Oh. Yeah, Howard. Push him in. Yeah. Oh. That was a weird concept. You just go rent hot tubs and do it in them? I, I don't get it, what? Is this banned in the comics as well? Like, does this stay true to the story that he meets and probably falls in love with this rocker chick? Yeah, I think it would be uh, hard to be intimidating considering you're a uh, two foot tall duck wearing suspenders. Not exactly scary. Oh, towel whipping, oh my. Oh, he's gonna glass him? Oh, that's a bit, that's a lot to think about. Oh, he's fine. Oh, no earring in your other ear? I'll just make the hole myself. Ah! I'm warning you, I bite your face, you're a dead man. Ugh. Is he a murderous duck? Ah! That's right, space rabies. Space rabies. It's like rabies, but from space. It's my colleague, and he's bringing the feather. The feather. What are you talking? If it matches. Ah. You answered all you ah. Oh, well, you don't. <laughs> Stay away from me. Ah. Oh. That seems rude. Very rude indeed. Oh. How would you really are the worst? Ha <laughs> ha ah. ha. Come on, let's watch David Letterman. Hmm. I feel like other things are gonna happen. It's gonna be weird. What's that? Just can't seem to find the right man. Maybe it's not a man you should be looking for. Oh my. You think I might find happiness in the animal kingdom, Ducky? Oh no. Uh, they say, though, love's strange. We could always give it a try. I don't, I don't want to watch that. That's gonna be a weird. How, how? I just can't resist your intense animal magnetism. Ducks are known for that, yep. What? Said no one ever. Anyway. I've got a headache. And I've got the asp. Oh my. 
Um, this is uh, my friend Carter, and uh, this is Dr. Walter Jennings. Isn't that guy um, with the mustache from... Uh, I feel like he's been in another 80s movie that I've seen. I can't remember right now, but he looks familiar. <laughs> Where are my pants? How are you going? So someone took control of this machine that targeted him specifically? Well, we hadn't considered reversing the process. I don't think it's feasible either. Now, wait a minute. You've yeah, it's definitely weird. It's definitely not the worst movie I've ever seen. Like, the concept is very strange, but yeah, I, I still don't know how I feel about it. It's just, I think if you watch it, like, having zero expectations and knowing that it's going to be goofy and campy, then it'll be good, but I'm not believing it as, like, this, they're trying to be a heartfelt drama. I'm not. I'm not into that. What other planets? Yeah, could there be like a planet where it's alligators that act like people or a planet where it's like other animals that act like people? So many possibilities. I think you need some coffee. Come on. He's transformed into someone else during that power surge. Okay. Cajun sushi. That's a combination I would not recommend. Hey, honey. Yo! Yeah, I'm coming. Oh, that's. Please never be that person who whistles and pounds their fist at their waitress. Please never. That's just the worst. Ah! What do you think you'd like to eat? I no longer need human food. What? <laughs> this movie's so. It's not even like a. I mean, it's definitely weird. But it's just like. It's bad just because it's just so dumb. But also not like dumb enough. Like it feels like they're trying to make it real. If that makes sense, like me from that region of demons and pulled me down into that lab. Small universe. Okay, so the laser beam turned him into a dark overlord. You ordered your specials. What's wrong? This will mean the extinction of all. They served eggs to a duck. Just bring the beer! Howard. Howard. Oh my! Laser eyes that can move things. Okay, sure, yeah. What? Yes! He's my favorite. Smash! My dark overlords will engulf the earth. I'm much more interested in this storyline than Howard's, to be honest. Well, not the ducks remaining here either. Oh, we're going. So yeah, now Howard has to find his way home. This guy's a dark overlord. They're also trapped in a sushi Cajun restaurant where they're being harassed by rednecks. Give me that or you're going to be sorry. You better watch out. He's a master of quack foo. A master of quack foo. Yeah, might not be the time to mention that. I feel like this same triumphant song has been used like three times throughout the movie. Honestly, like I don't really care what happens to Howard at this point. Like, he's just, uh, yeah, I don't, I don't know what to think about him. They're gonna cook him? Oh, that's dark. Ah, they're just putting lettuce on him. Oh my gosh. You gotta go in there and beat him up. Salt and pepper seasoning. The celery. Oh god. Yeah. He's my favorite duck. You know. He's the only duck you know. Also, I imagine. We must eat the chili. The chili causes you to have electro frequencies. Bring me the Right. Why is this voice okay. like that? I don't know. Cut me loose. Sounds like a bunch of bull puppy me. Always want to be a hero, this guy. Whoa, blasted. Pew pew. Man, I wish the movie would have started with this. Yes. <laughs> Enough of this crap. You out of here. Oh, fireballs in his eyes. Well, that's cool. Yes. Where's the cold key? It's closing time! Ah. <laughs> Destruction! Ah. Yes, this has been my favorite part of the movie so far. Pew 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 pew! Pew pew pew! 
I like it. They're like, you know what we'll do? We'll start off, we'll send a duck, an educated duck, and then if that doesn't pan out, a dark overload with fireballs for eyes. Yeah, you know, always good to have a backup. Fireball, fireball, fireball. I will now bring down the other dark overlords. Hey! His voice me. just sounds, it doesn't match his person. They gave him like the scratchiest voice for a dark overlord. Doesn't sound intimidating, it sounds like he has a bad cold. Ah! Uh, duck crossing. <laughs> ah, I try. Is he like charging himself, like plugging himself in with his tongue? Ugh, what's going on? I definitely wish it was more of like that sci-fi element than a duck wearing human clothes. Howard the duck learns to fly. That's me in the morning before I've had coffee. I am not. Jack. Jack! Oh, zapped him. Uh, oh. Yes. Oh, you're gonna be a fireball again? Oh, shoot. Pew! Whoa, 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 whoa. Just a row of exploding cars. Pew! I feel like this flying scene's gone on for way too long. Like, come on, man. I feel like this movie's gone on for way too long. Why is the duck driving? Like, or why is the duck in charge? Why isn't the human flying? You know, like, uh. Oh, of course, the one that's open. Yep, that would make sense. Oh. Lord, I'll still spit in your wormy face. Ugh. <laughs> beep boo, beep boo, beep boo, science, beep boos. Enter target coordinates. This looks like very Back to the Future-y. Now it's my turn. Oh, the final showdown. Laser attack! Whoa. Oh, double laser attack! Whoa! Oh, is he gonna be back to normal now? Released it and it's loose. What about me? The dark overlord is still here. Oh shoot! Didn't work. What? Come on! Come on! No! What's this? What the heck is this thing? Oh my. Okay. This is the Dark Overlord. It looks like a giant centipede. What are you gonna do, Howard? What are you gonna do now? A duck versus the Dark Overlord. Well, I know who I'm putting my money on. It's not the duck. Oh, more lasers. Oh, they've been zapped. Ah! <laughs> Gross. This green goo. Ugh. Oh, crushed his toe. That hurts the worst. Uh. Pew! Oh, right in the eyes. Oh, they got him. Got him with the pew pews. Arrival. Yeah, you defeated one. Now you got a whole bunch coming. Well, Howard, don't. You'll never get home. Thirty seconds to arrive. If he destroys, yeah, if he destroys it, he's stuck on Earth. Can't get home ever again. Oh, Howard, this is a big, this is a big moment for you. What do you want to do? Ten seconds and counting to arrive. Over here. Nine, eight, seven, six. 
Five, four, three, two, oh my. Uh. Right. Well, see you later. Pew, 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 pew. Now Howard's stuck on Earth forever. Will she have to give him mouth to beak? <laughs> I don't know where you are. Oh, and now the band's mega famous because Howard the Duck's their manager. World tours, selling out everywhere. An original song. All right, all right, okay. He's like, that's me. That's me. And Phil's like their sound guy, like their stage manager. Oh, they give him a little guitar. Oh my. Oh, he gets his own solo. Of course, it's his movie. You know, they wrote a song about him. Why wouldn't he get a solo? It's definitely like, yeah. Reminding me of Back to the Future, too. Not the second movie, but also. So that was my first time watching the 1986 film Howard the Duck, and I kind of have mixed feelings about it. I didn't really enjoy it, even though I love Tim Robbins um, and I like his acting, but yeah, unfortunately that wasn't enough to save the story. I didn't realize it was a Marvel character. I'm curious to see how this character plays out in the comics, if it's true to the movie or if he's totally different in the comics. I'm not too sure. But yeah, it was just so weird and just like I didn't really get into it. And I know it was super campy and just, but yeah, just definitely not. Uh, I don't think I'll be watching it again anytime soon. Uh, I think my favorite part was probably the diner scene when the Dark Overlord came to life. And um, I thought that character was exciting. I would have watched more of his. Um, antics. This duck from outer space who gets sucked out of his living room and ends up on earth and then decides to stay on earth to prevent more dark overlords from coming um, and then ends up being a band manager for his girlfriend's band. If you have any other suggestions for bad movies please comment below and let me know and thank you so much for sharing in this first time watching with me and as always please like comment and subscribe to this channel and check back often for more awesome content. Bonked him. Aha! Oh, bleh, gross! Get out of there! Save yourself! Uh. It's closing time! <laughs> what? Oh, uh, gross! Oh.